Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be talking about Viv Vision specifically as she relates to two different relics. Now I've been running the Vision Relic on my Viv since day one and I've said before that I think that it's the best one you can use. So I've got the Vision Relic bound to her. I think it's the best relic possible for Viv right now. Uh, but since then I've seen it suggested several times that the Sentinel Relic is actually much better for her. Now I have both of these relics at rank two and at the moment I can take only one of them up to rank three. So this is really the perfect opportunity for me to do a comparison between them and I wanna share my findings with you today. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about what each of these relics bring to the table specifically for Viv and we'll start with her dad here. So in all rarities of the Vision Relic, except the four star, there is a rune here called Dot Potency Up. And this one gives you an increase to the potency of several effect types, including incinerates and plasmas. So on our special one, Viv applies instant incinerates to all non-mutants and instant plasmas to mutants. So this rune is actually going to increase your special one damage across the board. So the Sentinel Relic actually has two things going for it. The first is also a rune, and again, this is present on every rarity of the relic except for the four star. So this rune reduces the opponent's energy resistance by a percentage value, which is going to indirectly increase, again, the potency of Viv's special one because the beams are applying energy damage. More importantly though, the striker on the Sentinel Relic inflicts an incinerate vulnerability passive for 14 seconds, which is nearly enough time to get through all three of your special ones in Viv's normal rotation. So activating your striker immediately prior to your SP1 chain is going to further increase the damage of your beam attacks. Now it's important to note here, and we are gonna talk about this a bit more shortly, that this specifies incinerate vulnerability, which means that this is not going to work against mutants because Viv applies plasma to mutants instead of incinerate. All right, so what I did here was I equipped each relic to Viv, and then I took her into this random Iron Man fight in Act 7 all by herself, no synergies, no boosts, same mastery setup, and then I went through a single loop of her rotation. Now, if you get all three special ones off, there are a total of 15 hits, and these are the only attacks in her kit that are energy damage, so I logged the values of the instant effects on these hits. Now, the damage from the hits themselves are also energy damage, but they didn't vary enough between the relics to share here, so we're only going to be looking at the red damage. All right, so let's start off with the results for vision. Now, the first thing you're probably gonna notice here is the way the damage values are increasing over these first few rows. And this is because Viv is placing her own energy vulnerability debuffs during that special one chain. These max out at five. So that's kind of where you're starting to see the red damage cap out, right? At the end of that first special one. So with Vision, I was seeing the red damage max out just over 11.5k per hit. And the SP1 chain in total resulted in 165,000 damage. Okay, now let's add Sentinel into the mix, and right away, you can see that the ceiling on these red numbers is much higher, and we're capping out at 12,700 on the instant effect. You're also seeing that the last three hits in the chain are lower, and this is because the incinerate vulnerability passive from the striker actually ran out midway through the last special one, and this is a risk that you run, right? So here the red damage totals 179k, which is almost 15,000 more than the Vision Relic. That's about a 9% increase. And I gotta admit, I was a bit surprised by these results. This was more of a difference than I was expecting to see. So I kind of thought about the numbers for a bit and I realized that when it came to Sentinel, I was kind of seeing the benefits of both the rune and the striker without really knowing how much each was contributing to the end result, right? So the next thought I had was, okay, let's run a third test with Sentinel, but we don't use the striker at all, meaning the only thing we're going to be taking advantage of was the decrease in energy resistance from the rune. So here you can see that Sentinel still results in more damage, but by a far lesser amount. And this is actually only a 1.7 increase over the Vision Relic. So when it comes to Sentinel, the Striker is doing the majority of the work here. Okay, so having seen all this, what are my observations? Which way am I leaning here? I mean, it's pretty clear that using the Sentinel Relic with the Striker raises Viv's damage ceiling, you know, by a decent amount. However, however, I think that there are three very important points that need to be considered here. And the first is that since the Sentinel Relic focuses on incinerate vulnerability for the lion's share of its damage increase, 
the striker is not going to add any damage in a fight with a mutant defender. So instead with a mutant, you're going to be seeing results similar to that final column there. Now, of course, Viv has class advantage against mutants, and there is absolutely an argument that she doesn't really need any help fighting them, but her target matchups are mutants, so I really do think that's still worth mentioning. Speaking of target matchups, the second point I want to bring up is that the Vision Relic has benefits that kind of go beyond the scope of this test, and that these benefits really do play well with Viv's kit, specifically this rune here that grants you a Fury passive when a defender heals while heal block. This is really nice to have against mutants because so many of them heal a lot. You've got your Toad, you've got your Sauron, those champions are healing almost constantly, so having that damage increase is really nice. The final point I want to make is, I think, a bit more nuanced and probably going to be the one that will make or break this decision for you if you're out there considering this. I think it's fair to say that Viv's rotation is pretty rigid, right? You can't really deviate from it at all, or you are not even going to come close to the kind of damage that she was intended to dish out. And then if you add a striker into the mix, now suddenly you are inserting another very strict requirement into her already very strict rotation. And with Sentinel, we've shown here that the striker is absolutely a requirement if you want to see that nice increase in damage. So imagine a situation where you would need to possibly extend the fight by another combo or two in order to get your spirit gauge filled so that you can use the striker, but then in doing that you might have pushed the defender over a bar of power, now you need to bait out another special attack in order to start your special one chain, and when all is said and done you have unnecessarily extended the fight by another 10 seconds. And I think for me, that was what was most convincing. So having said all that, I am going to be sticking with the Vision Relic going forward and taking it up to rank 3. That's going to do it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to hit that like button for me. And as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>